my wife isn't into, into all this business stuff that I'm into and personal growth and all that stuff. And therefore, you know, there's this gap. And I go, there's only a gap because you're creating one. So for this episode, we're going to be speaking with Les Evans. He's going to give us some great tips on unanticipated problems in our relationships. Also, he's going to speak on the importance of patience and forgiveness. So I hope you love this episode. I love talking with Les. Lots more episodes to come. There is always things that uh, may or may not be a deal breaker that you would not have been able to suss out early in the beginning, for example. So then how do you guys get past like those kinds of hiccups or those kinds of situations? Because again, it's like, oh, well, we can both other elements to our complex human experience that you wouldn't have been able to anticipate. But then it's like now you have to decide if this is a deal breaker or not. So how did you guys kind of traverse that? And if you would have any examples that you might be able to share. Well, let's say three things. Number one, defining the rules around what your values mean. In other words, so you you set certain rules up and and they're, well, I guess it's like that film. They're more like guidelines. (laughs) (laughs) The code is more what you call guideline. What I mean by that is, um, for example, if people, people have an argument, let's say, and this happens, one of the things there is what are your rules around an argument? Now, some people's rules are you stay put and you work on it and da, 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 da. Other people have a rule that if there's an argument, one party walks away, cools off, and then comes back to resolve said problem. But if you have this rule and your partner has that rule and they walk out, you're going to be pissed as hell because they're in your mind being disrespectful when in point of fact that that is their strategy for dealing with stuff yeah as an example okay and so that's number one i'd say number two number one uh, that's number one is knowing what those rules are kind of setting rules for if this happens what is our strategy Mm -hmm. and then the second thing is really about forgiveness and patience because life is a long thing and we all grow at different rates. Uh, you have, and this kind of leads into point number three is you don't have to do everything together and you don't have to be at the same level or pace, et cetera, et cetera. You can live with somebody and have them be at a totally different pace and level, so to speak. Like if we're talking, like I was reading, for example, tons of business books. I study like crazy because that's my interest. My wife's interests are very different. She loves gardening and decorating and all those things, which, and she's amazing at it. And I have a great appreciation of it. But sometimes as a business coach, I've had many people come to me and say, well, my wife isn't into all this business stuff that I'm into and personal growth and all that stuff. And therefore, you know, there's this gap. And I go, there's only a gap because you're creating one. And just because one person is in the public eye doesn't mean the other person has to be necessarily. They're independent things. And the beauty of that is, is when you have your own interests, you come back together, you, you are fulfilled, your partner is fulfilled, and then you go, and that's where, this is where the compatibility comes in. And that's what creates the spark where you can still be in love with your partner after years Because it really is true when you go through these things together, that really deepens the intimacy. Yeah, that's powerful.